Hey everybody, welcome back to Puppet Enters the Race. Well, we've done basically everything in the game already, but there's a couple of bonus stuff that is hidden in the game, or that we didn't cover, that I want to cover in this episode. Because I like doing everything in the game in Puppet Enters the Race. Do everything in Puppet Enters the Race. So, we did two playthroughs, and we did all of the possible paths okay, in just those two playthroughs. Okay. But there's more to the game than what first meets the eye. So, the main thing I'm going to cover is all of the different baby animals that Outback Owl ha can have that we need to care for. So we did the fat Dormouse, but he has quite a few other uh, options there. So, let's just start by driving on through to the east side. Oh no, possum in the road. One other thing that you can do is, uh, when you're playing on ScumVM, uh, the virtual machine that runs the scum engine that I'm running the game on. If you do control D, this little console debugger menu will pop up and you can type in room followed by a number and it'll take you to that room of the game. So the game, uh, the scum engine essentially divides games like this up into different rooms. So like first screen was one room, this screen is another room, like the racetrack is another room, town square is another. It's divided up into those different ones. Now there are two special rooms to keep in mind. The first one is room 15. If we go to room 15, it brings us up to a special debugger menu, which allows us to go anywhere in the game. And what I like here is it's actually laid out in the same pathway. So you've got the yard you start in, the apple road, the possum road, that's the speedway junction, the speedway, that's the car race that you can just jump to right now. Uh, the, po uh, the town square, the toy store, the pachinko machine. So it's not pinball that I was thinking, it's actually pachinko. Uh, th the Outside of the paint shop, inside the paint shop, outside the car wash, inside the car wash, the gas station, Baldini's grocery store, the firehouse, the road chuck is flat on, the second square, airbag's house, the ba her backyard, Outback Al's place, the library, the odd animals of the alphabet book, the cut the tire patch fan out, we've got the <laughs> Mr. Fender Bender's yard, the shed, you, you, you can kind of see how it all is connecting. So we can actually click any one of these. So for example, if we go to the speedway, It'll take us right there. Hi, Redline Rick. <laughs> well, well Puppet, you teleported. Puppet. How the heck did you are do you that? <laughs> up for a big car down 500 race? Yeah, we are. All right, so let's look at it's this. It's the racing form I got from Redline Rick. I still need to find some extra high-powered, high-octane gasoline, some super speedy radial racing tires, a safety helmet for Pep, and a triangular flag with the number seven on it, and then I'll be ready to enter the race. So that brings us into the other special room. So if we go to the debugger and type in room 28, that will take us here, which is the other debugging area. Instead of changing rooms, we can choose which items to get in our inventory. Uh, we can choose which of the baby animals Outback Al has. We can choose which, whether there's a possum or an armadillo in the road. Uh, we can choose where the bottles will sp Actually, I don't think we can. It just tells us where the bottles have spawned right now. And then this is where you uh, have the path in the game. So, flag at Catman. So that basically means Bonzo's under the house. This means we need to hammer the nails for Betsy Bulldozer. And this, So this is the first path we did. This is literally the first path. If we hit randomize, now we've got the flag in the outback, which that's exactly what we want. We want to show off all of these. So those were the non-puzzle animals, these are the puzzle animals. So we've got the Dormouse, which we had last time. Let's start with the Aardvark. I think that would be good. Uh, we can also randomize whether Chuck needs a square or a triangle. So that's kind of interesting. <laughs> but yeah, that's so, so that's what we're going to do. Later, Redline Rick. One thing you can't randomize, though, is the number on your flag. Town Speedway, here I come! <laughs> also, if you use the debugger menu, some strange things can happen. <laughs> what's, it, what's up, Pup Hut? Nothing! I don't know why I did that! <laughs> wow. That's incredible. So now if we go back here, we just ran over the possum. to get a racing flag with my official number on it, some racing tires, some extra high-powered, high-octane gasoline, and a helmet for Pep. Then I can enter the big race! Pup, but you just ran over a possum. Also, if we if we have Pep do this, what is the heck is gonna happen? Okay, Pep, give it a try! <laughs> the debugger menu can screw things up pretty Good bad. Good boy, Pep! Go! 
gosh, I sure hope we didn't scare that little guy too much. Well, I guess I can keep on driving. You didn't scare him that much, but you scare me a lot, Pup. But there, there's definitely some serious black magic going on here. <laughs> wow. All right. Um. So I guess let's go up, shall we? Putt putt. How's my little buddy? I'm fine, Chuck. But what happened to you? Oh. One of my rubber radials hit a nail, popped it like a balloon. <laughs> I'm one stuck Chuck. Maybe I can help. If you would, I'd be a happy tow truck. How's about heading over to my tire setter and picking me up a tire patch kit? And judging by my tire, you'll need to cut it into a square. Oh, I can do that, Chuck. Thanks, little buddy. I'd be much obliged. Nice. So now, now I, I have to know. Let's go back to room 28 and change this to a triangle. You planning on joining the big race today, Putt-Putt? You bet I am, Chuck. Good. Then maybe I'll see you out there. If I get this tire fixed, that is. Oh, you will. I'm sure of it. <laughs> oh, also, in our second playthrough, I picked up the tire patch kit and it disappeared. Uh, so I figured out you can't take... A tire patch kit until you talk to Chuck. Because we left Chuck for dead and didn't talk to him, Puppet's like, no, I can't just take his tire patch. That would be rude. So that's why. Hi, Outback Al. Well, if it isn't Putt Putt, long time no see, matey. How do you like my newest addition? It's a baby aardvark. Oh, it's really cute. Stayed home today to take care of the little bugger. Only problem is, he's hungrier than a crocodile in a grub nest, and I can't for the life of me remember what he eats. Wouldn't help either, because I can't leave him alone to go buy anything anyway. Maybe I could find out what he eats and then pick it up for you, Outback Al. Jackaroo, you're on. <laughs> Jackaroo. That's an incredible saying, I've got to say. All right, so if we go to Odd Animals of the hey. Alphabet and look at the aardvark, we can see what he needs. A is for aardvark. Aardvarks have long tongues like worms, eating stuff that makes us squirm. Termites and ants, they love to crunch, though sometimes they eat green grapes for lunch. Hey, Outback Al needs food for his baby aardvark. I don't know where I can find termites and ants, but I bet I can find him some grapes. Yeah. <laughs> So even though they prefer, like, tiny bugs, we can't get those. So that's a little bit of a problem. Oh no! That shed is on fire! What should I do? Okay, let's be the responsible people oh, this time I and put it out. Bone to get help. <laughs> this is what you're supposed to do. Nine. One. One. This is 911. Please do not hang up until I tell you to. Too late. <laughs> So now we have this cool badge, which is uh, pretty awesome. <laughs> All right, so we actually got to get grapes on the farm. You probably you probably saw the grapes on the vineyard. I pointed them out. <laughs> so there, there's actually a reason that he has a bunch of different produce in his farm, not just for Beldini, but also you've got the grapes there. We're gonna need some of those in order to get uh, the Artvark fed. I can't reach that from here. Yeah, you can, Papa. What, what, what are you even talking about? Yeah, you gotta go from the top. Ooh, great! I know someone who might like those. Green grapes are amazing, Papa. I don't know what you're talking about. Like everyone should eat them. Well, if you don't, if you really don't like them, then obviously you shouldn't. But I don't know why you wouldn't like them. Unless I'm mistaken, also, the aardvark is the only one that eats the green grapes. <laughs> so it's pretty rare you're going to need to grab them. Alright, dude. Hi, Outback Al. Hi there, Putt Putt. Here it is. Some food for the baby. Well, aren't you a lifesaver? Can't thank you enough. <laughs> oh, he looks so happy. Aw, he's so cute. 
Oh, he found a bug. Is that a racing flag? Oh, that that happened. Okay. So now if we go back to room 28. If we change this to the Dormouse, will the Dormouse be fed? Yep, Dormouse is fed. <laughs> That's pretty great. Oh, oh, one other thing I should show off. Let's go to square number three and then go backwards. <laughs> steel pipes? What steel pipes? These are easy to drive over. <laughs> Those pipes are blocking the road. They're too heavy for me to move. <laughs> Papa, you're literally standing on them. <laughs> Hi, Putt Putt. Where are you going? I was hoping to head over the hill, Pete, <laughs> but it looks like the road's blocked. <laughs> it sure is. I lost my hook somewhere this morning. I heard it drop off with a clank, but I don't remember where. Without my hook, I can't move even one of these pipes. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Maybe I can find your hook for you. <laughs> you were oh, staring the wrong way, so Putt Putt. I could get this job done and be done in time to go see the Car Town 500. <laughs> okay, Pete, I'll keep my eyes open. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Alright, let's give ourselves the hook, shall we? And... Yeah, let's... <laughs> oh man, come on! It moved Pop Putt. Okay. Well, we can't have that. Let's go back to the square. I want to hand him the hook while we're standing on the pipes and see what happens. <laughs> Here's the hook, Pete! Is it yours? Is it ever? Putt Putt, you are a great pal! Why don't you hook it back on me, and I'll get these pipes moved. <laughs> so is Puppa going to have moved by the time we come back here, or will he lift the pipe? Oh, but, he but. will. <laughs> but now he's not. Okay, then. <laughs> also, I believe if you give yourself everything you need for the race... That, that... And, uh, where's the safety helmet? Oh. Boom. We have everything. Uh, we have everything. Wait, if we have- we have everything, though, right? It's the racing floor. Yeah, we do! Red Line Rick. Looks like I've got everything I need. I should head over to the speedway so I can enter the race. Wow, okay. That's something you're never gonna hear unless you debug stuff. So if we go this way now, will it enter us in the race? It will! Hi, Redline Rick! Hey, that's pretty good design on the developer's the part. Race. That's great, Putt Putt! Just in time! Go on over to the garage, okay, well. boys get y'all fixed up, re race car like. Okay, I kinda wanna... So, we're still more, there's still more baby animals to cover, so I'll be back in just a second. Okay, we've got a lemur now. Hi, Outback Al. Well, if it isn't Putt-Putt. Long time no see, matey. How do you like my newest addition? It's a baby lemur. Oh, it's really cute. Stayed home today to take care of the little bugger. Only problem is, he's hungrier than a mm. crocodile in a grub nest, and I can't for the life of me remember what he eats. Wouldn't help either because I can't leave him alone to go buy anything anyway. That's the same dialogue every time. So, yeah, you know. Hey. You know the drill. L is for lemur. L. L is for lemur. Lemurs are primates with black ring tails. They climb up trees, then leap and sail. The grown-ups feed on plants and leaves, but milk is what the babies need. Oh, the babies drink milk. I should go find some so Outback Al can feed his baby lemur. I mean, technically, baby mammals, like, always drink milk. That's, like, one of the requirements of being a mammal. Oh, sweet. Cool. All right, so in order to feed the lemur, you're gonna I need to go to Rover. I of milk, please, Rover. Precious, you'll find anywhere but milk. coming right up. So the milk can actually have a lot of different functions. You can need it to get Bonzo out from under the there house, and quite a few hey, of the baby animals what actually I owe need you? it. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? You owe me five bucks. Well, bye. <laughs> Hi, Outback Al. Hey there, Putt Putt. Here it is. Oh, hey there. Some food for the baby. Well, aren't you a lifesaver? Can't thank you enough. 
Although, here's the thing, you shouldn't feed other animals cow milk. That That's a bit of a problem. Although, I mean, it works in this game, but generally speaking in real life, cow milk is not healthy for non-cows to drink. It's heck, it's not even that healthy for humans to drink, if I'm being perfectly honest. Also, one thing that's interesting that I literally never knew about this game until I looked it up, if the shed is not burning, if you click here, great! I got a coin. There's a free coin inside of the change dispenser in the telephone. Never knew that because I clicked on the telephone and it blew up, like on my first playthrough. But you have to click specifically on the change pocket, so that's pretty cool. Hi, Outback Al. Well, if it isn't Putt Putt, long time no see, matey. How do you like my newest addition? It's a yak. A baby one, if you can believe that. Oh, it's really cute. Stayed home today to take care of the little bugger. Only problem is, he's hungrier than a crocodile in a grub nest, and I can't for the life of me remember what he eats. Wouldn't help either, because I can't leave him alone to go buy anything anyway. Yeah, yeah, baby yak. That is a huge yak. Also, I did. Do yaks make this like a sheep sound or like a cow sound? That would make sense because they are basically hey, really they're like woolly mammoths, but cows. I... All right, yeah. Why? Why is for yak? In Asia lives the great wild yak, who has a hairy head and a hairy back. The parents graze on grass and leaves, and babies drink the milk they need. Milk. That's what Outback Al needs for his baby yak. I should definitely go find some for him so he can feed the little fella. Oh, yes. So we could go to Rovers, but that seems like a lot of effort. We've got the debug menu. Let's get, um, where's the milk? Where's the milk? Oh, it's, is it under the flags, maybe? No? Huh, can you not? Oh. No, that's that's the giant jumbo milkshake. Where's the milk? Where are the turtles? <laughs> Alright, I guess we do have to go to Rover Rocket Drive-In in order to get the milk. I'll have a carton of milk, please, Rover. Oh, yes. Here you go. Hi again, Outback Al. I've seen you a lot this episode, Putt Putt. Here it is. Some food for the baby. Well, aren't you a lifesaver? Can't thank you enough. <laughs> he looks so smug now that he's... Oh, wow. Dang, I did not know Yax did that. Man, yaks are pretty cool creatures, huh? Oh, hang on. <laughs> we still haven't actually gotten to the raceway. <laughs> Car Town Speedway! So what it's number? Okay, so we need number four. I wonder... If we get, like, one with the number one on it. Looks like you got the wrong number on the flag there, little buddy. Remember, you need a four. That's your <laughs> official number. <laughs> <laughs> Great reused line. Uh, no, you need number four. That's your official number! <laughs> That's exactly what he said before. And exactly how he said it. That's fantastic. Last one. Hi, Outback Whoa. Al. Well, if it isn't Putt Putt, long what is time happening there? See, baby. He's how hyperventilating. Like my newest addition. It's a baby kinkajou. Oh, it's really cute. Stayed home today to take care of the little bugger. Only problem is, what? he's hungrier than a crocodile in a grub nest, and I can't for the life of me remember what he eats. Wouldn't help either, because I can't oh, wait, leave him on. alone to go buy anything anyway. <laughs> Maybe I could find out what he eats and then pick it up for you, Outback Al. Jackaroo, you're on. Okay, I, I apologize. I accidentally hit Control F instead of Control D, and apparently that fast forwards animations, but it didn't fast forward their talking speed. So that's actually kind of interesting. Anyhow. Hey. K. K. I love the way they look here. K is for Kinkajou. In South America lives the Kinkajou. I've never seen one up close, have you? They love to lap up honey the best, sticking their tongues into buzzing bees' nests. 
Honey, that's what kinkajous like to eat. I should go find some so Outback Al can feed it to his kinkajou. So this is one of the tougher ones to find. Uh, there's nowhere around town that really has honey, except much like the uh, pumpkin seeds. Baldini actually has it once you learn about it. Oh bother, somebody's selling honey shaped like Winnie the Pooh. Good morning, Apart Pot. Good morning, Mr. Baldini. How are you on this fine sunny day? I'm a great Pot Pot. Mr. Baldini, I need to pick up some honey for Outback Al's baby kinkajou. That's a no problem. You go right ahead and I'll just put it on his bill. Thanks, Mr. Baldini. <laughs> I totally don't want it for myself. All right, here's the honey dude. Hello again, Outback Al. Hi there, Pot Pot. Here it is, some food for the baby. Well, aren't you a lifesaver? Can't thank you enough. What the heck? That is runny honey, holy cow. Okay, so that's all of the different baby animals. What I want to do now... <laughs> So if we randomize this, okay, the flag is now at Fender Benders. So he's had the he's had the emu. So let's show off the sugar glider. Ah, uh, yep, that looks great. Hi, Outback Al. Whoa! This little fella was born in Australia near the coast. Had him sent out here so he could live in the Car Town Zoo. Well, he's very cute. Wow, that is a sh that is a sugar glider. Is that what they're actually like? I don't think so. Hi, Outback Al. Usually, bush babies are nocturnal, sleep in the day, and stay up all night. But I think the long trip turned this fella's schedule upside down. Wow, I didn't know that. Wow, that poor little sh bush baby. Oh yeah, and then we had the numbat. Okay, cool. We must not have had the emu then. Okay, well... Let's do emu and give me that hook. Okay, see, now the milk appears. That's weird, the milk doesn't appear if Mr. Fenderbender doesn't need it, I guess. Okay, so the gas can is here. What I want to check, if we go back to room 28, and if I pick up the gas can, Still there. <laughs> so, okay, I have a filled up gas can. Hi, Mr. Crankcase. Hey, 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 Pot Pot. Excuse me, Mr. Crankcase. This sure is an awfully big mess. Whew. You're telling me. You're going to clean it up now. <laughs> Whoop. <laughs> uh, I have done this before. I know where this stuff goes. I could click it. Apparently, people actually like legit speedrun this game. I don't even know like how or why. Like this is just clicking well, and pushing it's all escape. Done, except I can't find a place to put this old gas can. Well, pop my time. <laughs> where is it? Where did that old thing come from. As far as I'm concerned, you can keep it, but, but if you can use it, that is. I already Thanks have a full lot. one, though. No, thank you. You're the one who needs to be thanked. You're very welcome. What's gonna happen here? I was glad to be able to help you. <laughs> what the heck? That was magic. What the heck? I have a filled one and an empty one. What is this? That's my gas can. It's filled up with extra. That's my. That's my. That's my gas can. <laughs> Whoa! Hi there. Hi, Outback Al. Emus are odd birds because even though they're birds, they can't fly. That's great. I never knew that before. Yeah, so he can't fly away. <laughs> the other birds like you can't fly, sucker. Can we get two filled that's gas my cans? Ga that's my, that's nope. my gas So we have the empty one, but we also have the full one. That's that's very interesting. <laughs> Hi, Redline Rick! I tell all my champions, if you want to feel the speed, set a record, go the distance, you've got to have safety first. 
Otherwise, it might just be your last laugh. Safety first is great advice. Yeah. <laughs> Did y'all see Cars 1 and 3? <laughs> okay, so last thing I want to show off today. You can actually skip to the race if you hold shift and click on this car. <laughs> this happens. I got all the things and that, that doesn't that works outside Scumbium as well. That will work in just the regular game. Oh, you look like you're ready to race something that really ready to race. Yeah, we are. So now we're gonna finish last and see what happens. Start your engines. On your marks. Get set. Go! Alright, so I'm just going to suck as much as I possibly can and take last place. If at all possible. So this is probably going to take a while. Oh yeah, fast forward, that's the way to do it. So I just did control F. How am I losing? Or how am I beating the pink car? I do not understand. How is the pink car losing to me? I'm, I'm literally hitting everything. Look how f I, I hit as much stuff as I possibly could and the pink car is still losing to me. That's insane. Is it even possible to lose the race to finish in last? I'm not sure if it is. Because <laughs> we are just flat out faster than the pink car is. Wow. That was the worst race ever. For the pink car. I was trying to lose as badly as I possibly could, and uh, I failed. Wowie zowie, that was great! As I always say, it's not if you win or lose. It's how you race around the track. And you race terribly. you raced around the track real nice. Way to go, buddy! Thanks, Redline Rick! He's so nice! How about it? You wanna race again? He's so nice, we hit literally every possible obstacle. He's like, you still raced, read it as. I think I've raced enough for today. <laughs> well, but but on behalf of the Car Town 500, it gives me great pleasure to give to you this here ribbon for being a good sport and a great racer. Aw, oh, that's so nice. Wow, thanks a lot. I'd like to thank everyone <laughs> You're just saying for this helping for me two get red all the things red. I needed. And Mr. Crankcase, if you ever need help cleaning up again, just let me know. I'll see you all next time. And don't forget, it's not if you win or lose. It's how you <laughs> that, race that around the That was track. really hastily tacked on. <laughs> is he kissing his ribbon? Or is that picture just not in the credits? Oh, okay. It's just him like, hey, look what I got. He looks a little smug. Okay, so that's, it, as far as I can tell, literally everything in Pup Hunt Enters the Race. Um, I think the only thing that I missed out on is a few of the dialogue options. Like, I didn't listen to every single one of the Gophers jokes, so if you want to listen to all the Gophers jokes, you got to get this game yourself. It's on Steam, and it's only like 6 to $8 or something, so it's, it's a pretty good deal. I would recommend getting it. This is a very fun game. Anyhow, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, everybody, and I hope you join me for my next Let's Play, which is actually going to be different than what I was anticipating, most likely, because I can't get the game I wanted to play to work. Well, I can try a little bit longer, but honestly, I'm, I'm looking for a backup Let's Play. Anyhow, thanks again, everybody, and until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless you wherever you are.